Okay. okay, let's do it. Donald Trump's presidential campaign made its first stop in Iowa yesterday, but before his plane even landed there, the former president was criticizing Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, as Joe said. It started yesterday afternoon on social media with a video in which Trump said the state of Florida was doing great before Ron DeSantis, while praising former Republican Governor Rick Scott and even Democratic Governor Charlie Crist for their time in Whoa. office. Yeah. While on the plane to Iowa, Politico reports the former president spent about 10 minutes going after DeSantis, taking credit for helping him win the Florida governor's race in 2018 and expressing some regret that he had endorsed him. Trump continued to call out DeSantis while on stage last night in Davenport, Iowa. That is one of the cities the Florida governor visited last week during his book tour. The former president used nicknames for DeSantis and rattled off claims about the governor's voting record while he was a member of Congress. Okay, so remember this. Ron DeSantis. Did anyone ever hear of DeSantis? DeSanctimonious. DeSantis. Now, Ron DeSantis strongly opposed ethanol. Do you know that? And we don't even know if he's running, but I might as well tell you. If he's not running, I'll say he was fine on ethanol. Don't worry about it. He strongly opposed ethanol and fought against it at every turn, and he's going to do that again because people that come out early for something, that's where they go. That's what it is. So, you know, he may do something politically, but he was very, very bad on ethanol, and he fought it all the way. And he also fought against Social Security. He wanted to decimate it and voted against it three times. Voted against Social Security. That's a bad one. A lot of people don't know that. But I think they've been finding out over the last four weeks one of the reasons that we're zooming in the polls, perhaps. Maybe that's one. Maybe it's other things, too. It's really based on what we've done, I think. And on Social Security, well, we're at it. He wanted the minimum retirement age to be lifted to people that are 70 years old, a substantial increase over what it is right now. That's a big increase. And he also voted to severely cut Medicare. I will not be cutting Medicare, and I will not be cutting Social Security. We're leaving the age where so somebody is clearly getting under the former president's skin, Joe. And you know how in physics yeah. they talk about action and reaction? I suspect you're not going to have much reaction from Ron DeSantis because he does not want to get into this fight yet. No, not yet. And, and Jonathan Lemire, this guy is obviously, Ron DeSantis is obviously so in Donald Trump's brain. First of all, I just, the, the hypocrisy is always great. He said, oh, yeah, it's great to, great to listen to. It's so funny uh, he, where he goes, oh, somebody who's come out for the ethanol, usually the way they come out at first, that's really where they are and that's where they stay, says the man who spent his life being a pro-choice Democrat, who's now... Uh, supposedly pro-life, who spent his life supporting gun control. Now he's Mr. Second Amendment. I, you could go down the list with Donald Trump. He's changed. He even said if DeSantis doesn't run, he'll change his views on DeSantis. So, again, he is obsessed with Ron DeSantis. Uh, but but I will tell you, you read the, the, the coverage from yesterday, and maybe you can add to it. Um, Trump went back to Davenport, Iowa, where DeSantis had 1,000 people. New York Times reporting yesterday that uh, Trump, when he came in, shut the town down by 2 p.m., and it was 2,400 people standing room only there, that the center of the gravity of the Republican Party still centers around this guy, who right now, the over-under on indictments is at two and a half. So I'm not sure whether you want to go under or over, but even with two to four indictments facing this guy, he's still the center of, of, of the Republican Party, which tells you all you need to know about the base of the Republican Party. Yeah, a lot of action on DraftKings right now on Trump indictments. People yeah. banging, <laughs> banging the over on that. Um, you're right, though, that the, the last events of the last few weeks despite the increasing legal peril, has really crystallized that this is still very much Trump's Republican Party. His aides were quick to send around those pictures yesterday showing that he dramatically drew a bigger crowd uh, than DeSantis did in that same uh, Iowa town, Davenport. And truthfully, let's remember, Trump, was, Iowa's never been one of his best states either. Uh, and yet he's an early sign of, of, of strength uh, there. But the obsession with DeSantis is real and it's twofold. Some of it is just this Donald Trump. Of course, he's Donald Trump. He's jealous. He's resentful. DeSantis is the governor of his home state. Uh, but his aides also say there's some, and I'll emphasize some, strategy to this. So they feel like if they can make life as difficult for 
DeSantis, as possible for DeSantis. Now, it might dissuade DeSantis from even getting in the race at all. A preview. Like, this is how tough it's going to be. We're going to beat you up each and every day. You don't want this. Why don't you wait four years? To counter that, though, the risk is that by singling all his attacks on DeSantis, I mean, Trump's not really saying anything about Haley or about Pompeo or John Bolton. He only talks about Pence in the context of January 6th. By focusing all of his attacks on DeSantis, he's also elevating DeSantis. He's sort of raising his profile right. as the Trump counter. So it, this certainly could backfire, at least for now. All signs are pointing to DeSantis jumping in the race once the Florida legislative session ends in a couple months and he gets that pesky law changed that allows him uh, to run for other office while being governor of Florida. Yeah, you know, Gene, though, it's just it's absolutely fascinating. Again, Donald Trump obsessed with Ron mm -hmm. DeSantis, Ron DeSantis not punching back. But Trump's obsession goes so far as mm -hmm. him actually crediting Charlie Crist yeah. Uh, talk about a, a non-person in the in Republican politics. Mm -hmm. He praises Charlie Crist for being yeah. a really good governor. This reminds me of when he said he might support Stacey Abrams. Again, it has nothing mm -hmm. to do with yeah. the party. It has nothing to do with the political movement he's behind. It has nothing to do with issues. Again, mm -hmm. this should serve as one more stark reminder to a Republican Party that just keeps losing. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump is only interested in himself, and he will yeah. set fire to the party and to the movement yeah. and to any cause they believe in if it gets in his way. Yeah. Is there any, anybody out there who didn't think that Donald Trump would be the one to, to launch the wave of Republican on Republican violence? And, and, and here he goes. And, and that's, that's what I don't get about DeSantis and Nikki Haley and others who are thinking about getting into the race. Um, they don't want to they don't want to talk about Trump. They don't want to mention his name. They don't want to say anything about him. That's fine. But he is going to go after you. You know he's going to do that. And he, yes, he is elevating DeSantis by going after him, but he's just going to try to savage him uh, every opportunity he gets. Uh, and by doing that, Trump raises his own profile. He, he you know, he, he, it's like greatest hits for the for the base. Um, this time the target is DeSantis, you know, instead of Biden, whatever. Uh, they, they love to see him on the attack like that. Um, I got to say, he sounded yesterday more like, you know, the Donald Trump we come to know and many of us loathe and fear, <laughs> but we've come to know uh, in, in, the, in past campaigns. This is the first time that he seemed um, like you know, Trump on the stump, uh, the way we've seen it before, that sort of aimlessness yeah. and, and, and drifting, rambling, um, uh, all self-pity, um, there's some of that as well yesterday, but it was, you know, he's, he's getting in shape for a campaign. Yeah. I mean, it was interesting, actually, though, from our NBC colleagues that when he was talking about DeSantis, Trump in Iowa, actually the room of kind of Walker's crowd suddenly went kind of quiet. So it's going to be I think he's got to have to measure those crowds if he's going to go after DeSantis, because some of them say they like DeSantis, too.